Ooh. Okay, trout, trout action's getting better. If you're on the speckled trout hot and heavy, then without a doubt, the best tackle to catch a limit is the double rig. But how do you know when to tie one on and where to go. throw it? Are there other advantages to fishing this rig that aren't so obvious? In this guide, you'll discover the answers to those questions as well as the easiest way to tie one. To get started, we'll take a look at what a double rig is. What is a double rig for speckled trout? The double rig, also known as a tandem rig or shad rig, is a single leader line with two ends, sporting two lures that catch fish two at a time. It really is that simple, but there are other oft overlooked advantages to this rig that most inshore anglers don't readily recognize. Stick with me and I'll reveal those to you. But for now, let's look at the parts needed to tie the double rig in the first place. 20 pound monofilament leader line. In this case, we're using monofilament fishing line because it is cheap and durable. Another advantage is that it stretches, which is key to keeping fish pinned, especially when there are two yanking on each other. Fluorocarbon is largely unnecessary. Yes, it is more visible in the water, but the double rig is not a finesse rig. It's meant to be really good at one thing slinging hungry speckled trout into the boat as fast as possible. These are fish you usually find in a feeding frenzy. Monofilament fishing line will not spook them. After that, you really don't want to use braid. It's flimsy and tangles easily. Plus, it doesn't give at all, which makes it easier for fish to throw the hook, especially when there are two of them pulling in opposite directions. Two quarter ounce jig heads. Now, I say quarter ounce, but you can go heavier or lighter depending on your needs. It's just generally accepted that a generic double rig sports two quarter ounce jig heads. That's because the double rig is used to fish shallower water or the upper part of the water column. You really wouldn't use it to fish deeper water. A heavy drop shot would be better for that. But if you keep watching, I will cover a deep water application for the double rig. Lastly, consider using jig heads with ribs that are better at holding a soft plastic. Death grip jig heads are a great example. When you are fishing a double rig, you can count on catching a bunch of fish and you want your soft plastics to stay secured to stay secured while you are. Time wasted readjusting torn lures is time spent not catching fish. Two of your favorite soft plastics. You can use whatever you want on these jig heads. There's a million different lure manufacturers today and everybody has their personal preference that makes them feel special. I recommend using sparkle beetles and that's because I really don't feel that using specialized soft plastics is gonna get you any more bites. And that's because you are most likely deploying this rig when you've already found a red hot bite, not when fish are being finicky. And that's it. You can throw extra stuff like swivels and snaps in there, but I personally feel that's unnecessary and creates more problems than it solves. Next, let's look at how to use these parts to tie the double rig. How to tie the double rig. Cut about three feet of 20 pound monofilament leader line. Uh, more or less, it doesn't have to be exact. Next, tie a figure eight on a bite somewhere in the middle of your leader line. Not dead center, but just off to either side as you want your resulting pigtails to be uneven. Tie this knot, then be certain to double check that your leader line is still longer on one side than the other. If not, then it's okay to trim to length. Then tie on your jig heads. You can use a palaver knot, improved clinch knot, or just whatever makes you happy. If both jig heads are the same weight, then it doesn't matter which pigtail they are tied to. But if one jig head weighs more than the other one, then put the heavier one on the longer leader line. The reason why is to minimize tangling on the cast. Heavier weight tends to lead through the air and having that weight on the longer leader line will keep it from folding back and tangling onto the main line. And that's it. Now you have a double rig ready to rock and roll. But before you hit the water, let me share some tips and tricks to give you confidence with this piece of tackle. Tips and tricks to fish the double rig with confidence. Most anglers look at the double rig and think, oh, that's how you catch two fish with one cast. Yes, this is true, but there's a little more to it than that, so let me explain. Taking advantage of a short bite. Sometimes it happens that you get on the fish and the action is good, but it doesn't last. We have all been there. The fishing is fast and furious and then suddenly quits. Now, 
This can happen for a multitude of reasons, and we just can't cover all of them here in this guide. But what I can tell you is that the double rig allows you to take advantage of these shorter feeding windows because you are literally catching one additional fish on each cast. Or maybe you really do just get on a great bite that lasts all morning, in which case the double rig helps you catch your limit of speckled trout that much faster. Which is awesome because I know that I love running around a marsh knowing that I caught my limit as I scout additional fishing spots or even try my hand at some redfish, or maybe even triple tail. Weed through throwbacks. The double rig is also good for those days when you just can't get away from undersized fish. This was especially the case in the wake of the freshening. So on those days, throwing a double rig helped catch that keeper when they throw back bit first. The secret to catching two specks at the same time on the double rig. Look, just because you're throwing a double rig doesn't mean you're always going to catch two fish at the same time. Sometimes you need to utilize it a little bit differently in order to get that second fish to bite. So when you hook a speckled trout, let him sit in that spot. Don't start reeling in right away. Keep him and the double rig in the strike zone where you were initially bit. Do this and in no time at all a second trout will be hitching a ride on the other hook. And you'll know for sure, and, and, and the way to know is when you feel that line become noticeably heavier. Cover more water. Sometimes you don't immediately find a bunch of biting fish. And that's when you should pull out the double rig anyway. It can make for a really good search bait, considering that it has twice the weight to cast longer distances. For example, years ago, I really enjoyed wade fishing the islands of Breton Sound and I would use a double rig to cover more water to find where oh, speckled we trout were holding. Yeah. It was as simple as casting and retrieving on a fan cast while slowly wading down the beach. If you can cast five yards farther with a double rig and you can make 100 casts, then that's 500 more yards of water you covered that day. Color experimentation. Another advantage of the double rig is being able to easily experiment with colors. While I personally feel that spending all day swapping out colors is usually a wasted effort, it certainly doesn't hurt to try it on a double rig. If fish bite one color more than the other, then you have your big obvious answer. Put the winning color on the other jig head. This kind of color experimentation works when you're searching for fish and maybe even when you're in the midst of a white hot bite. When to use the double rig. I will tie on a double rig when I see following fish, meaning that I catch one fish and I see another or more follow it to the boat. Or I will have one tied on already if I plan on getting into fish thick and heavy. A good example would be fishing speckled trout eating shrimp under diving birds. How to secure the double rig and look like a pro. A great way to look like you know what you're doing is to secure your double rig properly. You wouldn't want to secure one jig head to a hook keeper or heaven forbid the insert of a rod guide and leave the other one flapping about. Instead, run the jig head on the long leader under the stem of your spinning reel. Bring it back up to the short leader and hook the hooks together. Bam! Now your double rig is secure and you look like you've been doing this for a long time. Fishing the double rig in deep water. Earlier I mentioned that you typically fish a double rig in shallower water or the upper part of the water column. This is true, but it is possible to fish deep with it by obnoxiously overweighting it. In this case, half ounce and one ounce jig heads are your choice. I've used these to fish fast moving water as deep as 45 feet. But with that said, I still think that the heavy drop shot is a better choice for fishing deep water for speckled trout. Put extras in a Ziploc bags. Now the, the double rig is pretty simple to tie, right? So it's tempting to just tie it on the day of your fishing trip while you're out on the water. But it's really better to already have it tied onto your rod, then have spares tied to Ziploc bags in case you need them in a hurry. Easily adapts to corks. The double rig can be looped onto the bottom of most popping corks. I did something similar to this when fishing birds in this fishing trip from my other channel where I caught an easy limit of speckled trout, some of which were caught two at a time. What matters the most on your next fishing trip? Look, I've, I've fished with a double rig for years oh, yeah. across Louisiana's coast from, from Slidell to Venice to Vermilion Bay and beyond. And I can tell you that what matters most is not the tackle itself, but finding biting fish in the first place. Yet Louisiana's coast is a big place. Not all of it holds biting fish. 
So where do you look? That's where I begin in this video here.